Hello, welcome to my Math 1401 Elementary Statistic Section 2 Course Registration Number 20140 for Fall 2022 section. Okay, I will post the explained syllabus in the link here after I complete explaining it. Okay, my name is Budi Pyantha. My email address is bpantha at abac.edu this is my primary email please if you have any question email on this email address okay don't please don't email through the Georgia view because I check this email address this email all the time okay my office is Brit 215 okay not 219 215 I recently moved to 215 and my office phone number is 229-391-5272. The class day, hour, and place for this class is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 o'clock to 1.50 p.m. at Conger Hall 315, room number. Okay. My office hours are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Tuesday, Thursday, 10.45 to 12.30 p.m. So the office hours can be... Uh, Access through online or face-to-face -face or by appointment if this office time office hour does not work You can email me what time works for you For face-to-face -face office hours if you are coming to my office for face-to-face -face office hours, please wear masks Okay, I strongly recommend online office hours where you will click this link Okay, and automatically join to my office hours after you click that I will get an email and then I will log into my zoom account you don't need to create zoom account you just click this link for the office hours all right guys so the textbook a brief version of elementary statistics a step-by-step -step approach eighth edition by alan g blumen so actually you don't need to buy this book but what you need to do is you need to create an account in the connect math www.connectmath.com okay and then click sign up now as soon as possible so after you so you want to create this uh, connect math account as soon as possible because all the homework and quizzes will be in the connect math that will be the online homework and quizzes okay so how do i get that you just click that link connectmath.com and then it will take you uh, to hit this link this website okay and then click sign up now okay and you see that class code you need to enter the class code. You see that class code here? The class code, the course code for this class is 33XPM and then 3TPXQ. You will enter that course uh, class code on that website, okay? After you click the sign up now. And then you may have to, uh, you will have to uh, enter your name and email address in there and then right after that you will be able to access all the homework and then the quiz okay guys on the uh, on the um, uh, on the connect mail so this account after you log into that there will be a book there the pdf or the electronic version of the book you can access if you need to okay so that's how you create your account and then access the textbook the account includes an online copy of the book hard copy is not required homework test and uh, not the test all the homework and quizzes will be in the connect map. calculator a graphing calculator is required for this course the math department highly recommends and provides support for ti 84 series models if you are buying a new calculator i recommend to buy ti 84 plus ce if you have ti 83 model already that is also fine, but if you have to buy one, please buy TI-84 Plus C. It has so many other functionality that can do so many things very, very quickly. Okay. Use of cell phones as a calculator is forbidden in this course. During the exam and the final, you are not allowed to share calculator with your classmates. The general description and prerequisite this course is an introduction to basic descriptive and inferential statistics it covers measure of central tendency like finding mean median mode and um, variability like uh, standard deviation variance quartiles like that position is median quartiles all those 
statistical graph and diagrams, confidence interval, hypothesis testing, application in uh, application involving binomial, normal, t, chi-score, and f distributions, and correlation and regression analysis. The emphasis is on application rather than on mathematical theory. Both calculator and computer techniques will be stressed. The credit hours for this course is three credit hours. Students enrolled in this class must have seen or better in Math 10.01, Math 11.01, or Math 11.11. So these are the course learning outcomes, meaning that after you complete this course, you will be able to do all these things. Given a data set, choose an appropriate graphing tool or tools to display the data, eliminate outliers from the data, and use appropriate measures of central tendency and variation to describe the data. Given the data set, create and classify distributions including normal, positively and negatively skewed. Given a two variable quantitative data set, analyze the data set by identifying the limitation of the data set, generating a scatter plot, using appropriate technology, finding correlation coefficient using calculator appropriate software, uh, interpreting the correlation coefficient, finding the least square equation using a calculator or appropriate software, and using the least square regression equation to make predictions. So you will see in chapter 10 that like y equals to mx plus b, we'll be using the meaning of slope here in the linear equation. We call linear regression and that slope is considered as a regression coefficient. You will see that in chapter 10, okay? And given a data set or summary statistic, conduct appropriate hypothesis testing, constructing and interpreting confidence interval, constructing and interpreting significance testing, and choosing and interpreting p-values. Given a statistical question, develop a hypothesis, create a sampling design, take a sample, analyze the resulting data, and conduct a hypothesis test. So these are the uh, materials that will be covered in uh, and uh, in act in homework and uh, in the test, okay, and quiz and test. So these are the policies for teaching homework and quizzes, uh, quizzes and exam policies. Lecture notes or worksheets for each chapter will be posted in Georgia View, okay. You will see that uh, because if I click the Georgia View, you can see. Uh, the lecture notes, uh, lecture notes, let me enter my email, um, my ID and password, okay. All right, so you will see the lecture notes here. Let us see that, so uh, elementary statistics, section one, when I go to the content, you see the uh, lecture notes here. If you click the lecture notes, then you see the chapter one and two lecture notes, chapter three lecture notes like that. Once we are done with chapter one, two, and three, there will be a test. And after test, I will post lecture note for chapter four and five, and so on, okay? So the lecture notes, it includes all teaching material, including the links for YouTube video. If you look at this, for example, let's say chapter one and two lecture notes, you see that watch a video here. If you click this, it will take you to the YouTube link where I have explained all these things there. Okay, and click another link. You will see all those things described in the YouTube video. All right. So you will have a complete material provided in the Georgia view. All right. So YouTube videos, you can find the link in each chapter section of lecture notes. You can watch the video by clicking the corresponding links in the lecture notes or worksheets. All homework, and by the way, so you should print these lecture notes, okay? You should be printing the lecture notes, and then in the class, I will go over the lecture notes, and then you see that there are some black spaces that you will be you will be filling the blank spaces, okay? You will be making the notes. So you see that there are a lot of uh, problems that I asked you guys to do, some of the problems I have done for you. And you can see all those uh, problems, how I did it, explained in the video as well, okay? So we'll go over that in the class. 
and you will do the online homework and the quizzes all right all homework and quizzes are in connect math website it is your responsibility to find the due date of the homework and quizzes and complete them before the deadline you see that when i go to the um, the connect math you will see all the list of these homework okay these are the list of the homework in the connect math for this section okay and then you see the due date so the first homework 2.1 is august 25 due on august 25 so chapter 2 homework are the end the quiz from quiz one are due on august 25 okay and then chapter three homework and the quiz two are due on september 8 and on september 8 there is a practice problem and then there will be a test in class test these are the test practice problem and there will be in class test on that week okay you can see the uh, the in the calendar you will see when is the test one and so on okay so all the homework and quizzes are in connect math website that's the homework and quizzes it is your responsibility to find out due date for the homework and quizzes and complete them before deadline late homework will not be accepted as the homework site will be deactivated after the due date the due dates for the quizzes and tests are also available in course calendar you will see that in the course calendar you see under the content and you see the uh, course syllabus and course calendar if you go to the course calendar here you see that when is the quiz one when is the quiz two test one all those things okay you can see all those things there all right uh, and uh, so so available in the course calendar post in George view the test will be in class Practice problem for each test will be posted in Georgia V. Okay, all the practice problem you see, you see that. Uh, oh, by the way, so I I I posted the practice problem in the uh, in the Connect Math here. Okay, so if you need more practice problem, I can post in the Georgia View too. But if you practice these practice problem, you will be perfectly fine. Okay. I strongly recommend you to go through the practice problem. These problems are good practice for the test. All online homework and quizzes must be done by yourself. Okay, use of outside sources such as any tutors, internet applications, solution manual, etc. are prohibited. If found copying or getting help from other sources, your grade for the quiz or homework will be automatically zero. Attendance will be taken at each class. If you are going to miss a day, please let me know before the class starts. A record of your attendance will be kept and sent to the registrar office with your final grade. No makeup exams will be given except some emergencies. You must provide official documents like doctor excuse or authorization from vice president, etc. or dean's office that show the reason you have missed the exam. No cell phones use in the class you must set your cell phone in silent mode while you are in the class there is a free tutoring center in the third floor of library where you can get help for the homework uh, or if you do not understand something or you can also come to my office or join the online meeting if you need any help okay these are the uh, grade distribution homework is 15 percent of the total grade quiz is 15 percent of the total grade Test is 50% total. There are four tests, 12.5% each, and final exam is 20% uh, of the total grade. Okay. The test date, the dates, a uh, test dates, and the detailed course calendar is posted in the Georgia View website. If you log into the Georgia View, this is the course website. And if you, uh, if you log after you log into, and then if you click the elementary statistics section two. And if you uh, click the content on that, you see the syllabus and course calendar. Okay, so let me go to the uh, Georgia View section two. All right, elementary statistics section two, and then content. And then look at this Math fourteen oh one calendar. After you click the calendar, you see all the quiz one, do you quiz two, D test one, and all those things. You can see that there, right? But what it does not include is it does not tell you 
when are the homework due but usually what happens is chapter 2 that is 2.1 2.2 2.3 and 2.4 all these and the quiz one are due on this date this uh, 22nd of uh, august and then chapter 3 all those chapter 3 homework and the chapter 3 quiz are due on 8 31 and so on that's how you do it okay all right all right so um the the final exam comprehensive the final exam will be comprehensive that means it covers everything in the semester from chapter 1 through chapter 10 and uh, is uh, the the date for the final exam is december 7 between 2 45 and 40, 40, 4 45 pm okay the final exam will cover all the materials throughout the semester okay guys all right these are the great distribution 90 between 90 and 100 including 90 and 100 is a 80 to 89 is b 70 to 79 is c and so on okay important dates class begin on august 15 last day to add change grading options or drop without w grade is august 22 so you'll have one week period to change the section or drop from the class without any penalty you will get the money back uh, but if you drop after this date you don't get the money back and then you will, you will have a w or withdrawal grade in your transcript okay labor day holiday is september 5 last day to drop with w grade is october 6 okay fall break is october 17 and 18 thanksgiving holiday is november 23 to 25 last day of class is december 5 reading day is december 6 and the final exam December 7 to 12 that's the week of final exam okay keep your written test uh, it is your responsibility to keep all your graded midterms it is very important to have them in case there is any problem with your grade and also the keeping the uh, midterm uh, problems or midterm test your midterm test is uh, is very good idea because you can use them to practice for the final exam right because you can see what type of question I ask or you will see in the final exam too all right so you can check all your score at Georgia view e-learning course website and in connect map so for the online homework and quizzes you can see your grade in the connect map and for the test you will see grade on the uh, in the uh, Georgia view okay so college policy and academic dishonesty if uh, so as i mentioned if you find if i find you cheating or copying your course or hiring a tutor to do your homework or quiz <clears throat> then appropriate actions will be taken okay so these are the disciplinary procedures you can see and the last thing i want to uh, uh, ask uh, tell you is please read all those things and then know get familiar with what are the uh, what are the outcome if you do anything that is not uh, not uh, you know uh, legal or or I would say not legitimate okay and so if you are in a sport club and uh, on the college uh, sports or if you have any type of uh, uh, you know any type of problem please let me know and also uh, please uh, if you have any documents that shows that you need uh, a special accommodation uh, please get the paper uh, sign it to the student development center and then get back to me so that i can accommodate you appropriately okay i need the documentation to start with that all right guys so if you have any question on the syllabus please let me know uh, and uh, that's all thank you very much